very warm welcome to all of you students who have come here for your revisions and also for your studies. So you can ace your school with an Academy Plus subscription and now you can get a flat 10% off if you use my code SWS10. And welcome to my class. My name is Sweksha Sahai and I am your English educator. I have five years of experience in education and I have been an English and IELTS trainer previously. And I also know other languages apart from English, which are uh, Spanish and French. So this was a little bit about myself. And of course, I'm deeply passionate about learning and teaching languages. Now let's understand the chapter that we are going to study today. It's called The Deserts and it is chapter number three from your book, An Alien Hand. And before we begin, I just wanted to give you an overview about life in a desert. So you can see what a desert looks like. It is arid, it is dry, and um, there is no tree in sight. Also, you can see the man or the boy who's sitting in the picture. Mostly, uh, the people who dwell in deserts are also called Bedouins. And let me write that for you. So this man here can be referred as a Bedouin or Bedouins, okay? Then of course there are camels and um, the things that you can see in the picture, just about some things that they use for sleeping, the tents and the beddings which are lying on the desert floor. This is how mostly a desert looks like and uh, the next one is of course desert vegetation so you know that mostly what grows in desert is only cactus and some other plants but there are different varieties of cactus and other succulent plants okay succulents are those plants that accumulate water within themselves and they swell up okay so those plants are called succulents and cactuses are a type of succulent plant also here is an image of ladakh which is a cold desert in india okay so ladakh is the is a cold desert in india it is of course very beautiful to look at it's very famous for its beauty but nothing really grows in Ladakh okay there are very few people who live in this region but there are some uh, due to a uh, lot of tourism this uh, fame this place is famous now and people are able to learn their life earn their, their livelihood but mostly it's a arid land and nothing grows over there on that note let's begin with our chapter the desert so a desert is generally without water and vegetation a green patch uh, with fresh water and green trees in the middle of a vast desert is a beautiful sight and it's also called an oasis a desert may be too hot or too cold so as i had shown you previously i showed you a hot desert and a cold desert those of us who live in regions covered with forests and surrounded by hills may find it difficult to imagine what a desert is really like the popular belief is that it is an endless stretch of land where no rain falls therefore no vegetation grows it is dry hot waterless and without shelter but this is not entirely correct for those who have studied it the desert can be a beautiful place it is a home of a variety of people animals and plants that have learned to live under very hot and dry conditions so in the first paragraph there are two kinds of thoughts which are shown so the one is a common mindset that nothing grows in a desert it's very dry okay and then those people who are specialists what they say about deserts so the specialists say that uh, deserts are also just like uh, you know any other kind of land formation it is just that it has its own kind of vegetation and its own kind of people who have adapted to live in it true the ground is not always hidden by a cover of grass, plants and trees as it is in other climates. But whenever it rains, which is rare, 
desert flowers bloom and the sight can be as rewarding as that of any tropical garden so uh, what it means is that uh, it doesn't rain often in a desert and it should not because if it starts to rain in a desert then um, the balance there can get disturbed because the people in the desert and the animals in a desert have adapted to live in a certain way if it starts raining in a desert it might not be good for a desert so yes but it rains sometimes and those times desert flowers bloom and the site is an amazing one a desert is not always flat unchanging wasteland of dry sand it may have mountains and hills it may have an oasis big or small an oasis is like a green land in the middle of a desert where a spring or a well gives plants and trees a better chance to grow so uh, i told you previously an oasis is just like uh, a place in a desert where plants can grow because there is some kind of a source of water a desert may be hot like the thar or cold like ladakh and previously i also showed you the picture of ladakh and another cold desert but generally speaking if a place has little or no water and vegetation people usually call it a desert so basically wherever whichever place it is if it doesn't have any kind of vegetation it is very likely to be called a desert some deserts are almost totally without water in such places strong winds blow raising heaps of sand and depositing them as mounds so you must have seen in many uh, movies jahan pe dikhate hain rajasthan ki shooting ki jab camels chal rahe hote hain to desert ke pahad se sand ke pahad se bane hote hain now these uh, small mounds of sand are also called sand dunes now this is something that we must make a note of what are sand dunes so sand dunes are sand dunes are mounds of sand which are deposited due to wind okay and wind disperses the sand every day so a mound of dune that um, a mound of sand that you saw yesterday might not be the same today so from the first paragraph pick out two phrases which describe the desert as most people believe it is so let's go back to the first paragraph so it is a dry hot waterless land without shelter that is that can be the first phrase okay and what can be the second phrase where no rain falls okay a stretch of land where no rain falls so from where let's just, just point out so we can mark this as your answer is an endless stretch of land where no rain falls and therefore no vegetation grows it's a dry hot and the second phrase can be it's a dry hot waterless and without shelter so that can be the answer uh pick out two phrases which describe the desert as specialists see it let's look at that so but this is not entirely correct for those who have studied the desert can be a beautiful place so we can mark from here a beautiful place is one phrase as how the specialist seed and it is a variety it has it is a, it is a home for a variety of people animals plants that have learned to live in very hot conditions this can be your answer so which uh, which do you think is an apt description and why so of course if we look at both the descriptions we find that the specialist's point of view is a much better point of view because uh, a desert is nothing but a, a land where certain type of people live okay people like you and me i cannot live there but then there are plants and animals which have adapted to live in a desert so that is 
the answer for your comprehension check the next one is the phrases on the left in the following box occur in the text um, match each of them with the phrase on the right so the first one let's look at this One second an endless stretch of sand okay we can match it to number three over here nothing but sand as far as one can see okay waterless and without shelter now what can that match to we can match number two to the last one here which is no water and no shade an oasis we just read that an oasis is a, a fertile place with water in a desert so we can mark this one as your third answer hidden by a cover of grass well of course this is the only one remaining so you can say that not visible because of because the grass is thick now that can be your answer for question number 4 moving on Desert plants and animals learn to require much less water than most plants and animals. The camel is a typical desert animal. All living things need water in order to survive. The few plants and animals that live in deserts have developed uh, the ability to require less water than most people um, than most plants and animals. The camel popularly known as a ship of the desert can drink a lot of water at one time so what does camel do what a camel does is that it drinks a lot of water at one go and it stores it camel can do without water for days together to do without water means they can live without water the reason is that they sweat very little now this is something that we must make a note of so camel do not sweat as much as we do we sweat because we must keep our body temperature constant we sweat when it gets hot and this cools the body camels can stand high body temperature they don't need uh, they don't need to sweat and can therefore retain the water they drink for long periods of time so this is a very important these lines are very important they describe why camels can be used for survival in deserts okay uh the smaller desert animals do not drink water they burrow underground now to burrow underground means they uh dig holes in the ground which are like small tunnels okay and they live inside those burrows some of them eat other animals and get water they need from the moisture in the meat so बहुत जो एनिमल्स होते हैं वो ऐसा करते हैं कि वो मीट से मॉइस्चर डिराइव कर लेते हैं तो उनको फिर पानी पीने की खास जरूरत नहीं पड़ती है अदर इट एनिमल्स एंड सीड्स एंड गेट द वाटर फ्रॉम द प्लांट जूसेस डेजर्ट एनिमल्स आल्सो अडेप्ट देमसेल्व्स टू द लाइफ दे लीड कैक्टस प्लांट्स टूअर वाटर इन देयर थिक स्टेम्स सो एज आई शोन यू इन द फर्स्ट लाइट दैट कैक्टस प्लांट्स जो होते हैं वो अपने वाटर uh, अपने अंदर स्टोर कर लेते हैं इससे उनको uh, जरूरत नहीं पड़ती है दे डोंट ड्राई आउट दैट इजली सो द रूट्स लाइक क्लोज टू द सर्फेस ऑफ द ग्राउंड एंड क्विकली एब्जॉर्व मॉइस्चर फ्रॉम द लाइट रेन दैट ओकेजनली फॉल द मेजर फीचर ऑफ ऑल डेजर्ट इज ऑफकोर्स ड्राइनेस वेरिएशन ऑफ टेम्परेचर इन ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट्स the moisture in the air acts like a blanket and protects the earth from the hot rays of the sun the absence of this blanket in desert desert lands causes desert to heat up rapidly so it says that in most areas there is a blanket of moisture in the air yani hawa mein jo nami hoti hai uske karan se hum itne ठंडे या गर्म नहीं होते हैं लेकिन क्योंकि डेजर्ट में ये मॉइस्चर मिसिंग होता है इसके लिए दिन का टेम्परेचर जो है वो बहुत ज़्यादा होता है और रातें बहुत ठंडी होती हैं 
deserts are important part of uh, nature's nature's great plan and they are like dense forests and deep oceans just because they are hot and dry one should not look at them as useless parts of earth so it is saying that deserts serve a purpose on earth okay there are reasons why deserts exist and we should look at them with an unpartial eye as we look at any other landform so a camel can do without water for days together what is the reason given in the text i think i had marked that previously so we can mark it from here the reason is they sweat very little we sweat because we must keep our body temperature constant camels can stand high body temperature they don't need to sweat and can therefore retain the water they drink that can be your answer how do smaller desert animals fulfill their needs for water so uh, for this we can again go back and look at this part this paragraph here the small desert animals do not drink water they burrow underground and during the hot summer day they come out at night to eat some of them they eat other animals and they get the moisture from the meat until here the last question in a desert the temperature rises during the day and falls rapidly at night why we just read that from here in the humid climates the moisture in the air acts like a blanket and protects the earth surface from hot rays of the sun the absence of this blanket in desert less in desert lands causes the desert to heat up and rapidly uh, cool down during the night so you can write this in your own words which can be something like this that in deserts the moisture content in the air is very low because of which the land heats up very quickly during the day time and cools down very quickly during the night time as well so that is why there is a huge variation in the day and night temperatures in a desert the temperature rises okay we did this to describe a desert in your own way write a paragraph and read aloud uh, to your classmates well of course you can do it i have shown you some pictures previously so you can see that the people who live in deserts are called bedouins and they are mostly moving from one place to another in their caravans okay the long line of camels that you see in a desert is called a caravan they move over around shifting places because in a desert it's very difficult to find food and shelter for a long time okay so they exhaust one place and they move to another they exhaust the other place and they move to the third one that's that and the next one also is a uh, something that you can do at school your exercise that brings us to the end of this session you can um, now look at the features of the un academy plus subscription you can learn live from the comfort of your home unlimited access to all our courses top educators of india teaching you on one platform and regular doubt checking and answer writing sessions these are some amazing benefits that you have also you have exhaustive coverage of the syllabus mentorship and guidance study material which is provided to you in the pdf format practice test live se test series batch courses and what not so these are the subscription features the pricing is right now available on your screen for your section and you can use my code sws10 to get a flat 10% discount on all the pricing which is available on your screen right now the un academy iconic features are uh, definitely the most amazing ones it also has all the features of the plus subscription but apart from that you get personal mentorship you get live doubt solving you get weekly reports and we also get to connect with your parent and they can get to know your improvement during the week study planners are available and all the benefits of the un academy plus subscription as i had mentioned to you earlier The pricing is available for on your screen right now and you can get a flat 10% discount if you use my code SWS10. So what are we waiting for? Let's get cracking. Let's crack it. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon to get all the updates from us. 
this is all from me in this class but i will catch you again soon with the next chapter thank you so much and have a great day ahead bye bye